right guys, so today I'm going to tell you how to choose between Microsoft Office 365 and Google's G Suite. Uh, so this is great if you're a startup founder and you're trying to figure out which of these two platforms to use. They're pretty much the two main players these days in the collaboration and email uh, space for uh, companies of all sizes actually. Companies from, you know, one person shops to huge enterprises a lot of them, if not most of them, use um, one of those. And some even use both for different teams and different parts of the companies. Um, but really, it's, it's, an, it's an interesting um, and sometimes um, sort of challenging decision because, you know, there's a lot of conflicting information. There's a lot of overwhelming information as far as what features are for what do what, what the plans are, how that works. And so I'm going to tell you how to, how to choose between them. So... First, uh, what is Microsoft's Office 365? Well, 365 is a cloud service for home and for business use, but here we're going to be talking about business use. That includes Exchange, uh, and uh, you may know the desktop version, Outlook for email. It includes OneDrive and SharePoint for file sharing, Skype for business, and Microsoft Teams for collaboration and chat, and a lot more. And they're actually releasing a lot. I'm really impressed actually by Microsoft recently because they're releasing new apps all the time and they don't charge for them, at least up until now, um, uh, the, to this point. And they have, they're still not charging for them. So pretty much um, all these apps that they're releasing all the time, they actually released one for invoicing that's actually pretty halfway decent. It's free included in that monthly plan. So again, with 365, you get all these different apps, you get email, calendar, file sharing, you get a terabyte of file storage, you get all these things, chat uh, for uh, between $8.25 and $12.50 per user per month on average. Now there's actually a whole bunch of plans, but for most people watching this, uh, most startups, uh, that will be the plan uh, that you'll go with. What's Now, what's Google G Suite? G Suite is Google's cloud solution for email, calendar collaboration, so it's pretty much the uh, Google's version of Office, Office 365. But G Suite actually came before Office 365 by a long shot. They were the first player in online email collaboration calendar, a major player for business. Basically, it's just a business version of Gmail, Google Calendar, Google Docs, Google Drive, all the things you probably use or have used or have seen. Uh, basically costs five bucks per user per month, ten dollars if you want unlimited storage and some other features. Um, one of the things that makes G Suite unique is that it's all web-based. You don't install anything on your computer. You can access it from anywhere. They've really always emphasized that anywhere access um, and any device access. Now, Microsoft's making headway toward there. They have Word Online, Excel Online, but it's nowhere near as good as um, Google Docs, Google Sheets, and those things. So. You can kind of think of them, you know, as Google being the more conventionally cloud-based version, all desktop, all web, I mean, it's all web, uh, n nothing needed on your desktop, and Microsoft more of the conventional player, but they're kind of slowly converging. Microsoft's really making a lot of headway. So what reasons would you have to use Office 365, and what reasons would you have to use G Suite? So for 365, it's great if you're an Outlook Power user, you're familiar with Microsoft Office, you don't want to learn a whole new system. Um, and actually with Office 365 Business Premium, you, get, uh, you can install Microsoft Office on up to five of your computers. I want to stress your computers, the user's computers, not other people's computers. So you get five installations of Office, which is pretty cool. So if you have a homework uh, desktop, you have a work desktop, you have a laptop, you have an iPad, phone, you know, you can install Office on those. Um, also, 365, I feel like Microsoft's investing a lot more time and money and energy into, um, and it's evolving a lot more quickly than G Suite. G Suite hasn't really come up with mu come out with much new in the last few years, whereas 365, literally every few months, there's a new app coming out. Like I say, they're doing invoicing, they have Microsoft Teams, which is a, supposed to be a pretty serious uh, Slack uh, challenger competitor. So I would say 365, the, the velocity is much faster. They're really, they really care more about it, I think, than Google at this point. Um, you also always get the latest versions of Microsoft products if you sign up for 365, so you never have to keep buying a new version of Office. And like I mentioned about Microsoft Teams, which is billed as a Slack replacement. Now, Slack is a great, I mean, it's decent. It's a good product, um, not necessarily... I'm not necessarily as big of a fan of it as some people. I think it's a very good product, but it has, you know, everything has its limitations. 
but Slack by itself costs eight to fifteen dollars per user per month. So Microsoft Teams though is included in that eight to twenty-five to twelve fifty per user per month, which also includes email and all the other features. So literally, I mean, you could get rid of Slack and just use Teams. It's not quite up to Slack's level at this point, but I think it will get much, much better. And it's actually pretty, pretty good right now. So that's why to use 365. Now, why should you use G Suite? Um, if you're already in the Google ecosystem, the Android ecosystem, you already use Gmail, Google Calendar, you're comfortable with all of that. You don't really care that much about having Microsoft Word on your computer, Microsoft Outlook. So this kind of slants more toward the younger founders, younger employees who we've all, myself included, we've all grown up around Gmail using these Google products. Um, it's really G Suite is, is, is really meant for, for that type of user. Um, you only need an internet browser to access it. You don't need to install anything, so there's less overhead from management from an IT standpoint. Um, you don't need any desktop software at all. Um, so that's pretty cool. There is one piece of software you can optionally install if you want to access your cloud files from your home, from your desktop. You can, that's an optional thing, but you don't need anything on your desktop to use it. So finally, what is a, let's summarize this. So uh, I recommend G Suite again to the young organizations if most of the staff doesn't depend on Excel, Outlook, Word on a daily basis and if folks are already, fam or if folks are already familiar with Gmail or G Suite. Um, again, G Suite's the same as Gmail and Google Calendar and Google Docs just for business. Uh, so you get your at, you know, yourcompany.com uh, at the end of your email address. Um, I also recommend G Suite if you're already using applications like Slack that you're really wedded to, other third-party web apps. Google has a lot better and more widespread integration with third-party web apps from invoicing, like um, I, I believe FreshBooks has an integration, CRM, a lot of these kind of new new uh, 2.0 CRM uh, for startups uh, have Google integration and not really uh, 365 integration, be, be, just because G Suite is all web-based, so there's a lot web applications that can integrate with each other more easily. Um, but I recommend 365, like I say, if you or your employees are already used to Word, Excel, Outlook, um, and especially if you're an Outlook power user, if you come from a corporate background and you really have used Outlook your whole career, you know, 365, you're really going to have a smooth time with that, whereas with uh, Gmail, it's going to be tricky. Um, if you already have a lot in your plate, I would not add another thing to the to your plate, learning Gmail and all that. But really, you can't go wrong either way, uh, you know. And but they, you know, you can't go wrong either way. Um, I would follow sort of the, the tips I, I I provided above. And I will say though that they are completely different solutions to the same problem. So um, different solutions, different approaches to the same problem. So they're very different, but they accomplish the same thing. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, please feel free to comment. Let me know your thoughts. And I look forward to, uh, to hearing your comments. Thank you so much.